hello guys it's been a while i haven't uploaded any video here um that's because i've not been feeling too well i think i think for my voice you can actually hear it but then today uh, we're going to do something very simple i mean something that everybody's kind of asking so i mean let's dive into it so many people find it difficult to like create a kind of pose it like create a fit out in the picture so let's quickly do that and create a new document uh, Instagram has a new size now. Let's use the size of new Instagram, which is 1080 by 1440. So let's create that. We have something like this. And then I'm bringing my new my picture. So we have now. Let's take off the background. Let me zoom this out again. Let's take off the background first. Oh, here we go. Now I'm going to add a, I'm going to add a background. That's, I'm going to add a background. Let me scale this out first of all. I know some of you always also ask how I used to how I do to get my background. Well, I use Pinterest. You can try it out. If you notice, the edges are not really smooth, so it's a rough change of background. Let me just add something solid color with gradient. So yeah, something like this. Okay, so you have something like this. Now, how do you create a fit around it? It's very simple. Now, given the fact that I just change, I just uh, remove the background of this picture, I'll need to convert it to a smart object for again. Right click and take convert to a smart object. And then with that again, I need to add a new smart object now. A new layer mask, sorry. A new layer mask on it. And then I'm going to take my gradient tool here, click on it, make sure that here I have black and white, then click on it, go to basics, make sure that I click select black and white, black and white. Now when you come back here, make sure that I click on this layer mask here, and then just click and drag up. Now if you notice it's like this because your gradient is taking it and it's looking this way, then you can do the reverse from the top like this understand so this i can have a fit around like this um now that's that's not just all what if the things are fixing the face and you don't want it well you can come here you can click here come back here and choose your brush make sure the foreground color here is black and then start painting oh, sorry make sure the foreground color here is blue is white and then start painting it changes and then start painting wherever you want it to affect wherever you don't want it to affect so that's it you can also take down the opacity a bit you paint increase the size of the brush you may paint around like this so you can go ahead now and type here we go then to do this side uh, is tracking let me change the font type Okay, it's this. Increase this a bit. So I can just press Ctrl T and then I tilt it a little bit. I press Command or Ctrl and hold and I tilt it a little bit like this to have something like this. Here we go. Then I can just double click on it and then add the gradient and change the gradient to whatever you want okay so here we are so this is just one now there's another one what if what if i don't want it to be like this what if i what if i want to add another i want to add a black gradient instead so what i can do instead do here is that i can just click on select the image then come down to uh, layer adjustment layer here and gradient and add, while adding the gradient make sure that your foreground color here is black so that you have this black around it then you are good to go once you don't click ok then you have your black gradient now uh you can also change the blending mode to multiply you have some so it blends very well okay and now you can change let me change the 
the take the click you know my text now let me choose good and here we're good to go you see so this i can create something like this simple and straight to the point now you know we cannot just do this without also checking if what if the the the, the grid then here is touching the face and you want to take it off of course the same thing select click on the layer mask here come here and choose your brush make sure the foreground color here is black and you paint it so that it's not visible however you don't want it to be visible paint around all right so also what if you need to treat your image of course i cannot go without showing how to treat your image so for you to do that let's just go straight to let's select the image let's go to filter camera raw the camera raw filter this is what we have here now zoom in so we see what we're doing first of all go back to lighting go back to my lightings highlights then the highlights will be done let me put it let me take it up a bit and the contrast let me include the contrast and the whites let me see let me increase it a bit the blacks let me take down the blacks a bit and then what again shadows makes the shadow a bit so you see my picture is looking way way better and i'll go down to effect you can increase the clarity also increase the texture a bit you know, do it and then i'll go down to details i'll increase the sharpening do you do it too increase the noise a bit the color noise a bit too so let me just increase this again so that it doesn't overlook sharp 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 so we can check the before and the after so this is the before and the after good so that's what we have here and then i'm going to go click ok voila so this is how i used to wall street my image so this is just the basic just let me know if you have any question if you need if you need the image there's so many of them if you need the image of course i'll send them to you thank you for watching